All right, traders, here we go. Watch this video for Wednesday, June 19th, showing you the SPY. We had a nice gap up today and a big rally. Gave back some of it um, before the close. Switching to five minute candles there. So you had the, really, the opening 20 minutes, you had this big rally, and then it was total chop fest, um, which isn't my favorite trading environment, but uh, still a very, very strong overall market. What are we watching for Wednesday? Chewy is one of them. Had Chewy on watch today. I called it long, literally right about there. Um, 36.44 is where I got filled. Uh, it went up to almost 37.50 and is trading at uh, close to 38 now and after hours. So we're gonna watch that one again tomorrow for some follow through. NBY, um, nice, let me switch five minute candles here. You see this big, big volume rally here in the afternoon and closed pretty strong. So a nice bounce, uh, maybe back through two tomorrow. Definitely wanna keep an eye on that one. ZYNE like this through 14. It's kind of big volume pop here and then kind of flagging since then. So we're going to keep our eyes on that one. CETX had this big pop a few sessions ago and is starting to kind of went sideways for a few days and starting to curl back up on a little extra volume. And it's a low float stock. So we want to watch that one. PETZ, ah, excuse me, PETZ. Um, I don't know. I don't, I'm not in love with this. It went up and touched the 200 day and the whole number one. Um, I think it's Chinese stock and Chinese stocks were pretty strong today. So, uh, you know, it's kind of interesting through one tomorrow. Uh, I'm not sure what the float is in it and it's kind of obscure, but I'm going to have it on a chart just in case. VSLR broke out of this kind of flag today, um, but closing right at the top of it, gave back some right at the close, but really nice volume. All solars were strong today, so we're going to keep our eyes on that one tomorrow. Speaking of solars, SPWR, big breakout today. Closing off his highs though, but I don't hate that. That makes me uh, even more anxious to watch it tomorrow. Maybe a red to green, something like that. VBIV. Um, news came out today. I, I guess, uh, I don't know if it's an insider or the CEO himself. Double check that, but somebody bought a million shares of this one. Um, somewhere around, I think, 62 cents. Uh, and you can, that's where the volume came in and it kind of held up pretty well most of the day. Uh, today's high was 75 cents. So I kind of like it over today's high. We'll see what happens. Um, MGI, this thing's crazy. Gapped up and sold off all day and then throughout the, like, well, sold off all morning and then took about five hours and then quietly crept up over the course of five hours, which for a trader, I never found a way in this thing. And then it ends up last half hour ripping through the high of day. So then you end up with a daily chart like this with massive volume and closing near its highs. So it's got to go on watch tomorrow. Um, AMR. That. I'm wondering if I don't have a wrong symbol and I'll, tomorrow I'll realize which one I meant to have on watch, but this one's not interesting to me. So let me, let me keep moving. CIFS, uh, big volume for the stock and closing at its highs. Kind of, I think they were, start trying to start the low price Chinese stocks. Um, and this one closed so strong that I want to watch it again tomorrow for some follow through. FVRR, um, IPO that just ripped on day one from like 26 to 40, actually went almost to 42 that day and then the next day to 44. And now, you know, then it reversed and then a lower high and then today kind of a bearish engulfing candle. Um, but how do I word this? Um, I, I actually think this with this nasty candle here, I think it needs to have a couple more days down, but I am already going to put it on bounce watch for tomorrow because I can't get this day out of my head where it went, where it went from 26 to almost 42. So I'm going to watch it tomorrow. If it gives a proper setup, we might get a long trade in it. Um, and then TIGR had a huge move yesterday, 414 to 560. And then today tops out right at, uh, very close to six, I almost said the whole row. 595 is where it topped out. Um, so, you know, you might get a couple day pullback in this one. Um, actually, anything could happen, but I do wanna watch this for a turn back up. This this big day right here, it's the biggest day it's had in months, right? Um, so it's super interesting to me for a turn back up tomorrow. And that's all I've got. Um, hopefully we'll find some decent gappers in addition to this. Don't forget tomorrow is FOMC day, so I, Kind of expect it to be dead all morning, followed by chaos in the afternoon. Um, but sometimes we can get a, a nice trade off in the first few hours before uh, before things get kind of really quiet and then really whippy. All right. So keep that in mind and we'll talk to you tomorrow. See you in chat. Have a good night.